in this video, I'm going to help you understand that you are the boss of your gifts, how to work your energy, how to use it and put it where you want and no one else. Hi shiny lights, no matter if you are a seeker, a seashell, a speaker, a sage, a sensor or even a really maverick whoopee in the psychic strength quiz, one thing is for sure, your energy is your own and you are the boss of your gifts. Now it's an awesome thing to be boss of your gifts, don't you think? And sometimes we feel like we're in the passenger seat instead of behind the driving wheel of our beautiful psychic gift car. Well, if you are soaking up everybody else's stuff, if you're feeling like you've lost a pint of blood, if you're in social circumstances, guess what? You are not the boss of your gifts yet. And learning how to contain your energy is one of the first things we teach in psychic development. I teach it early and often because it's going to make the difference between someone that can really rock their gifts and someone who is like all over the place. And you don't want to be all over the place. You are a beautiful soul with beautiful energy and the only one who decides what to do with it is you. So you might be a sensor, the big feeler, and even if you're any of the other five quiz results, you will also have that sensitive feeling. But feeling deeply does not make you a victim. It actually makes you stronger. It's time to rise up and claim your beautiful power and use it in a way that works for you instead of being a victim. And how do you do that? One is you spot whose energy it is. Feel that incoming energy? You think, hang on, is it mine or is it someone else's? Chances are it belongs to somebody else. And as soon as you spotted that, you've got power again. You are the boss back again. Boss! The second step is learning to expand your energy and put it where you want. And this is where the psychic development comes in. This is what I train with in everyone that works with me, either as a VIP or in the psychic connection package, is once we've got that energy and we know it's ours and we're the boss, then we send it where we want. And that's the essence to being psychic, is we send our energy deliberately out to somebody else, blend with their energy field, and then start to receive the information back. But if you're not in control of your energy in the first place, that's going to be really difficult to do. Such a boss. And then the next step is to go one step further and learn to be in charge of your aura. And if you want to do that with me, I would love to work with you. I'd love to be your psychic mentor and help you be more in charge of your psychic gifts. Drop us a little message in reply and we can have a chat. Otherwise, shine your light no matter what. Thank you for letting me be your psychic mentor today. Ciao. Speak or, yeah, speak or, such a boss. Boss, boss, boss.